Good morning, everybody. Mike Focke, PrincetonTrader.com, here for NTMarkets.com with your Friday morning pre-market webcast. Okay, non-farm payroll day. We got the number in about 25 minutes. Um, you know, don't game jobs. Don't walk into the jobs report with a preconception about what it's going to do. Make some big trade at, you know, 829 and end up on the wrong side of something that, you know, first of all, it's something you can't control. Second of all, it'll ruin your, your day, your week, probably your month. And we've got to be especially careful this morning because we're on the edge of a lower band ride. We engaged the lower band yesterday. The Bollinger band width is still really tight at 2.13. And it won't take much off of a jobs reaction, right, to go down and put in that second day. Now, we did a little bit of a band ride here at the upper band. Didn't really take. So it, this isn't determinative of the next, you know, you know, week or so of action, but certainly the opportunity is there for the bears if they can push it. Now, no group has ever been less able to push their agenda than the bears. But I will say that the one setup that they have been able to execute over the last 18 to 24 months is tight compression bands into a lower band ride. That's what precipitated the move down to 1813 to 1815 last October. So, you know, they have their setup. That said, I mean, you still have to give the bulls the benefit of the doubt that what we're essentially doing here is the usual. Upper band, middle band, lower band. Upper, middle, lower. Upper, you know, middle, upper. That's that's what, at its, in its most simplistic, that's what the mini likes to do. It likes to trade band to band. The reaction off the number today is going to be pretty important as far as determining whether or not yesterday's move down to the lower band was a head fake, and we're going to head back up to middle band up in, up in the 2112 area, or if we're going to have the start of potentially a deeper move. If we get the deeper move, if the band ride is real, then my target on that band ride would be the 200-day exponential moving average, the, the purple line down there. There's enough compression in the Bollinger Bands to expand down to that area. If it's, you know, if it's short-lived, then maybe you don't see much past the 100-day exponential moving average there, um, you know, down at 2080. The potential is certainly there to put in a double bottom at 57. So these are all areas that we would have to deal with if, if we start to head lower. On a move higher, the first area that has to be accomplished is a move back over the monthly pivot. Uh, 2099.80. That's been a struggle in the overnight. It's been an area that's acted as good support for the last few days. It's put a, given us some excellent dip buy opportunities. But what you're seeing now, and what you saw in the overnight last night, is that area has has um, been resistance. So support going resistance on a longer term pivot. If that persists through the day today. If a jobs reaction can't get over 99.80, then I would be very concerned about the bull case. And what you may see at that point is bulls say, look, I can get better value down below. Bears, do whatever it is you're going to do. You know, I'll see you on Monday. That's very possible. If it gets back over 99, then you have to deal with the middle band. And then the bears fall into the trap that they have fallen into so many times where a bounce turns into a rally, which turns into a squeeze, which turns into a V. Um, that's, that's always on the table when you're talking about the bears. The middle scenario is we continue to just chop around, engaging the middle band each day with neither side being able to finish. And we continue along with this two-sided action, which is great for traders. So go into this with an open mind, understand the scenarios, and be prepared to execute on them. All right, everybody have a great day. Have a great weekend. Follow us on Twitter at Princeton Trader. Check out the website, princetontrader.com. Come check out the chat room. I'll be back Monday morning with another webcast. Trade them well, everybody.